Hey Room 12, it's Finn Douglas's dad Rolf here, and I'm coming to you from South Korea where I'm working at the Winter Olympics. Now I'm up in the mountains in a place called Pyeongchang, which is unbelievably beautiful, but unbelievably cold. Now it took us 15 hours to get here from New Zealand. We had to catch a plane, then a train, then a bus. It was a heck of a journey, but it was good fun. Check this out. Well, like I said, everything's really cold here, everything's covered in ice and snow, but there's also lots of other things to see. I mean, it's the Olympics, so there's lots of people and lots of things going on. Well, while we're staying here, we're in a place called the Holiday Inn, which is this massive complex of buildings. It's got shops and restaurants and all sorts of things going on. And right next to us is this massive snow field. I keep this pretty short because it's really cold. But I'm standing not too far away from where we're staying and uh, whew, man, it's freezing cold. And behind me is the ski fields where they're going to be doing some of the events. And uh, so not too far from where we're staying. I'll tell you what though, it is unbelievably cold. This is probably the coldest I've ever been. Probably doesn't look it because it's sunny, but it's at the moment, I don't know, minus 11 or something. Very cold. So absolutely stunning. Very, very beautiful around here. Very windy too. Now one of the other cool things about being in South Korea is they love gadgets, I mean they love making things. Now look at this robot, this is actually a vacuum cleaner. Can you believe it? We saw that one morning when we were on our way to breakfast, but at the IBC, which is the building that we're working in, they had an even cooler thing. Now this is a game where people can play against each other with massive robotic fish. Yep, they've got remote controls, and they're making these fish move around and they're actually playing a game of football. Check this out. That's a good one. Now you might have noticed that I mentioned before of something called the IBC. And that stands for the International Broadcasting Centre. That, over there, is the building that we work in. And every morning we walk for about 10 minutes from our hotel room into this amazing building. Now this is where everybody in the world who's making television for the Olympics is based. And this is where they're making all of the pictures come from. So we walk over there every day and we come inside and we come in to this office. This is where Sky Television is. These are my friends, these are all the people that I work with. Look at them all, we're all sitting there every day and every night making sure that all the pictures come back to you. That's my friend Strutter, he's a good dude. Look at all the screens you can see there. That's Jono, he's one of the cameramen. And this guy here, this is Matt, he's the boss, he's the guy that made the whole thing happen. And he's just had a whiteboard delivered, very exciting news. Now across the corridor are our friends from Channel 7 in uh, Australia. Now we work closely together with them to make sure that all the pictures come back to our countries properly. This is them putting a wire into our office and that's my friend Rob McDonald. He's the technician guy and he's making it all happen. Now one of the other good things about the place that we work is they've actually got their own food hall. Now this is a massive building that's full of everything you can think of to eat. We go there every day to get our lunch. Look at all the people. These are people from all over the world. So as you can see, the IBC and Pyeongchang are awesome places to work. Now the best way to get around Pyeongchang is on these special buses that are put on just for the Olympics. Now these buses will take us from the IBC to all the places where all the events are happening. 
Now one day my friend Olivia and I caught a bus to this place and on the way there we saw frozen rivers again. Look at those frozen rivers. Now the reason I mentioned that is because when we got to the place where we were going, we discovered a place called Snow World. And what that is, is a whole world of snow and ice figures that they'd built on top of a frozen river. Yep, a big digger comes in, chips away at big chunks of ice, and then some people come in with all their tools and they turn those big chunks of ice into what you can see here. Look, that's a dragon. Those are some sheep, cool, eh? That's a whale. Recognise him? So as you can see, these are the big chunks of ice that they turn into these amazing sculptures. Yeah, it's pretty special. It's pretty cool, man. So when I was walking along, I noticed something called an ice cafe. It's so I cool, walked man. in and look what I discovered. It's unbelievable. It is literally a cafe made of ice. Everything is made of ice. But the coolest thing about it is it's actually underneath a bridge. Yep, and that is the underside of a bridge. And that's where they built the cafe. This is so cool, man. I'm actually inside at what they call an igloo. So it's a house made of, completely made of ice. And what's really weird is it's really, even though that's made of ice and it's wet and it's really, that feels cold, it's really, really warm in here. That is so cool. This is awesome. So I thought I'd show you around the hotel that we're staying in. This, as I said, is a holiday inn. And every day we catch the lift up to the third floor, we walk down this corridor and come into this amazing apartment that I share with my friend Rob. Now we've got a room each, a bathroom each, and this is the lounge that we share. We've got a kitchen, there's a fireplace, a couch, and this is my bedroom. Big double bed, big bathroom. It's really, really nice, and the view from the deck is unbelievable. Look at that! It's really pretty and we get snow on our balcony every day. Check this out. But the best thing about the view from our balcony is the view of the ski jumping tower. Look at it, that's what it looks like in daytime and at night it turns into this amazing thing. Isn't it beautiful? Woo, it's a very, very windy cold day today. Um, I'm standing uh, above a frozen lake. That's a big lake right there. And it's uh, covered in ice. Uh, I wouldn't want to walk out in it though, I don't know how thick the ice is. And over there, that's an island. Uh, 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 over there, it's an island. Uh, it's got a temple on it, and a temple is a building uh, that people. Uh, it's a very special place to some people, and they can go and have a bit of a, a sit and a think. Um, so, should we go down to the island? I think I can get down there. Let's give it a go! Woo! It's windy. Well, here we are on the island, and that's the temple I was telling you about. Amazing colours. There's a lot of, uh, a lot of hard work going on to building that. So we're on this island, right in the middle of the lake. Um, and what's amazing, actually, that I've just seen, it's so cold, so it might be a bit windy if you can't hear me, but it's so cold. But over there, over there, there's some people in a tent. See the blue tent? That's crazy! Hey guys, well I've gone for a bit of a walk out into the countryside and I'm walking through some snow and I've just found these really cool footprints, hoof prints. I don't know what animal those are. I don't know who they belong to. Maybe a deer? I don't know. I hope there's nothing around. Now while I'm here, I work with some really, really cool people. These are all people I know from Sky. We've all come over from New Zealand to work at the Winter Olympics. They're such a good, fun bunch of people. So you know what? Let's meet some Sky Sport people.
Well guys, that's it from me for a while. I hope you really enjoyed this video that I've made and I've shown you a little bit about what I'm doing over here and what happens during the Winter Olympics. It's such a beautiful place. If you can ever get to South Korea, please do, especially in winter. Now you guys be really kind to each other. Be kind to Mrs. McVerry and I'll see you next time. See you kids. See you Finn. See you soon. Bye. Next time.